What's going on, Houdat Nation? It's your boy, Buddy Yoda, back at it again with another Saints video. And I am still in, like, mental shock from last night after the Saints took Peyton Turner. I still don't understand the pick whatsoever, like, at all. Uh, you might have seen my reaction already of me basically just asking who this guy was, basically yelling and, like, screeching, basically, because I had no idea. We really didn't need defensive end help. So did a little bit of research on him. Turns out, basically played at Houston, was made second team all for like his in his conference, and was somewhat of a decent defensive end, racking up, racking up five sacks in five games he played last year. But but still, I don't understand the pick here whatsoever. You have Carl Granderson, Marcus Davenport and Cam Jordan, and you just signed the guy from, I can't remember his name right now, from Kansas City. It's four guys that can that fit the need at defensive end slash defensive tackle if they needed to. You had way more pressing needs. You needed a, another linebacker, which maybe they believe in Zach Bond. I'm not sure. Zach Bond I like, but again, he's a developmental guy, and we, picked, we just picked up another de developmental guy. We really need, like, a proven guy that can play the linebacker position. We desperately still need another cornerback. Maybe we're looking at signing Richard Sherman this offseason, but who's to say another team won't pick him up because we still don't have like any money due to cap. It, it still boggles my mind that they took him over both JOK and Asante Samuel. I have JOK as my number two linebacker, who's more of like a much better safe coverage linebacker who could basically fit and mask some of your holes if you didn't pick up a good corner. He could mask some of those holes. And then Asante Samuel, dude's just a beast. Probably one of like the only good things uh, on the defense for Florida last Florida State last year. And it's it still just baffles my mind what the Saints did last night. For tonight, we got the 60th pick, the 98th pick, and the 105th pick. Oh, gosh, please, please, Saints, just be sane for once. Uh, targets to look for in both of those rounds. At the 60th pick, look for them to pick up, uh, if he falls, Tyson Campbell, cornerback from Georgia. But also look maybe for a trade-up uh, into the early second round if they want to grab somebody they like. Fingers crossed they would gr if they do that, J.O.K. or Asante Samuel. But uh, realistically, uh, look for either a corner or linebacker at that point. Most likely would be either for linebacker, I would say Jabril Cox at 60, and corner Tyson Campbell at 60 would make a lot of sense for the Saints. And then with the 98th and 105th, depending on what they do at the 60th, I think they take the opposite of what they did in the – 60. So if they took a linebacker, they'll take a corner. If they took a corner, they'll take a linebacker. Guys, I'd want them to target. Uh, linebacker from Georgia, Monte Rice. Dude started all all of his years at Georgia. He's not a flashy type guy, but it says something if you start for Georgia all the time in your collegiate. He was a true freshman, so would be a nice pickup to help solidify and give you like uh, a nice transition if, like, do you like Zach Bond or do you like him? You can kind of go back and forth between those. But Monte, I would say, is more proven. And maybe look for uh, Benjamin St. Juice. I can't – I'm sorry, I've, I messed up his name. Uh, cornerback from Minnesota, if I remember correctly. Uh, do lit up the senior ball would be a great pickup. And also maybe look for Sean Wade, uh, corner from Ohio State. He uh, He's fallen a little bit on people's boards. Originally, I had him – going in like the second round before the season, but he's fallen a lot, so maybe look for them to pick him up there. And I think with their last pick, they probably either take wide receiver or I don't even know. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to be wide receiver at that point. Uh, look for Josh Palmer. I know he doesn't have the greatest stats, but mainly dude on tape was amazing. And maybe as well look for Seth Williams or Amon Ross St. Brown if he's still on the board to go there. Both dudes, dudes would, all three dudes at wide receiver, I think, would do great for the team. All right, well, I'll catch y'all back up and do a reaction for who we drafted. I'm not going to be able to do a live one tonight because I've got work in about a, 
hour or two, so I'm not going to be able to watch it. But once I get back home and see and look at the Saints pick, I'll give you my first reactions to that. All right. Take care, guys, and peace.